How do you feel blacks are portrayed in the media? I feel that um, blacks a lot of times are portrayed in um, sur subservient roles. A lot of times they're not the lead character. Sometimes they get some outstanding supporting roles. But for the most part, there aren't a whole lot of African Americans on television that you see in a positive light. Very few. And I, I think I can, can count maybe maybe five that I know of that have those supporting roles on television. So there aren't many, except if you go to say um, specialty networks like BET or I think it's BET Encore, a uh, shoot off of BET, you see a lot more uh, faces of diversity on channels with specialties. So on mainstream television and a lot of times on cable, you don't see a whole lot of faces unless it's a BET. Do you feel um, that ne do you feel that ne do you feel network television caters to the black audience? Um, I don't. I don't feel that like network television caters. I think that they cater to the masses, and the masses, of course, they're more Caucasians, but they're more Caucasians-owned media, so owners and people who are not of color are usually in positions of authority and they get to decide what kind of faces you see on television. Compare, you know, comparing the 90s to now, do you see a def difference in network television? I see a, a great difference. There were more shows in the 90s and there were more shows that attempted to show a positive image like um, the Cosby Show. Well, there were it was the Wayne Show. It was sort of uh, buffoonish, but the stories had um, a moral, and it usually came out to the positive. You just saw more faces, and you had more opportunities to pick and choose the kind of shows that you wanted to watch. Now, I, I can think of one show um, or a couple of shows, maybe um, what is it? Um, Tyler Perry's and uh, Meet the Browns and. I don't, I don't really watch this show, so I don't, I don't have the, the name of the other one, but the, the two Tyler Perry shows, those shows are, are strictly buffoonish. I don't like to watch them because they say things for a laugh, and a lot of times I think that um, the people, even Tyler Perry, who would produce this kind of programming, think that this is what black people, specifically because they're, they're targeted at African Americans, want to see. I would, if I had my choice and my opportunity would pick shows like the Cosby show that would depict um, African Americans in a positive light. You can be a doctor, you can be a lawyer, you can go to college. So um, that whole like um, Tyler Perry syndrome, it, it doesn't um, do anything to me but perpetuate buffoonery. And I'm not saying that he can't do that. He can do whatever he wants. This is America and everybody is after the dollar more so than trying to be role models for people so he has absolute every right to make as much money as he wants to that's the way our, our country is but as far as um, putting on positive images I think that he should probably rethink some of the things that he does in his broadcasting um, there are just um, too few positive images now I think more positive images existed in the past. And even even BET, when BET was black owned, I can think back on, say, the Fox Network. When the Fox Network started, it started with black programming. And um, from the black programming, it, it took hold. A lot of times when networks first are, are, are put in as, as seeded networks, they usually target the black community. And then the black community supports them. And then they don't broadcast black shows anymore. They branch out into other areas and find other audience and then they succeed. So um, black people definitely want to watch television. Black people do watch television. But I think the images could be better. Um, who would you fault? The TV networks, the advertisers, or the viewers? I fault the viewers because if you don't buy, then um, that hits people in their pocketbooks and people are concerned about their pocketbook so if you don't want to see those images you should say so and not buy the product